Hey guys. Okay, so let's talk about those moments in life when you have something that you really, really, really like and it just doesn't happen to you, okay? Um, I'm in the, I'm right now in the transition looking for jobs, you know? And uh, I just, um, I had a very good opportunity that uh, I just found out that I was not the, the lucky candidate. Um, in my mind, I had a pretty good, I had a pretty good feeling that I, I mean, that my chances were pretty good. But in the, in the end, I always, in the back of my mind, I'm always thinking, okay, you, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how hard, like I always say, it doesn't matter how hard you try. It doesn't matter how, how, how much you put out there. Nothing is guaranteed. But since this was a, this was a job that I, that I really wanted, was a very good opportunity. Um, this was one of those situations that you have in, in there are going to be times in life when you find situation and opportunities that you say, if this thing, if this thing works out well, if I get this job, if I, uh, you know, finish this project, I mean, it's just those things in life that um, doesn't happen a lot of times in your life, but you know that if this happens, this is this this is something that can really affect my life from now on. You know, the 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 the, the, the growth and the and the many many other opportunities that can happen because of it. You know, it's just it just it just seems like a, a lot of like like it has a lot of potential. And sometimes sometimes those situations and events that seem like they're gonna like they have a lot of potential. Sometimes they turn out completely the opposite. Sometimes they're they're not. They, they turn out being we were wrong about the person, we were wrong about the job, we were wrong about the opportunity or about the project or whatever it is, you know. And 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 it just uh, just things don't turn out the way you want. So and 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 uh, i wanted to talk a little bit about it because this is something that i just find out i just found out less than a couple hours ago so the emotions are still raw you know and one of the things that you're going to notice when you have something that you really work hard for it and you put everything you got out there and you think about it and you want and you make sure you tell the people of the company i'm really um i'm i'm, I'm really hoping that i can be the person that that gets this opportunity I, because I, I, I really excited about, you know, working in this, working in that, helping you with this, developing that, whatever it is that, that you're telling, that you're telling the employer that you can um, contribute with, you make it sure that, that, that you tell them that. And sometimes it doesn't matter how much you do is not enough. Um, the feelings are still raw and in these situations many times we can have like a it's, it's like a cocktail of emotions um, at first it's like it, it, it hits you and you kind of like don't know how to react you know like it's like what happened you know like what the fuck um, then kind of when the when the dust starts to settle and you kind of get to see the the destruction the magnitude of the of, of, of the shock you know you can have a lot of mixed feelings you can have you go from feeling feeling hopeless you can feel desperate you can feel uh like a complete failure you can you can uh sometimes you you're pointing at yourself you turn against yourself because you're thinking what should i could have done what else could i could have done um I knew I shouldn't have done this, I knew I shouldn't have said that or, or reacted like this or, or, or I should have said something else, you know. It's just many ways, it's just many things and then you turn into, um, it can move towards anger and blaming and, and it's just a cocktail of emotions that happen. That's why when you have those kind of situations that they really make you feel bad, it's important to um, don't make any decisions. You have to understand that you're you're in that moment. Your it's like your vulnerability and your emotions and your heart 
it's like they're, they, they, somebody open your chest. So you have the heart like exposing, you're vulnerable, you're hurt. You, sometimes you want to explode and, 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 and say so much and curse and, and blame. And, and, uh, and so those, those moments, it's, it's better. Personally, I, I, I kind of try to move to a, to a position where I want to be by myself for a little bit. My wife can be there, you know, and, and, and she helps me, you know, she always, she's always supportive. But I think that these kind of situations you have to deal with. It's good to have someone close to you, but you have to go through the whole roller coaster of emotions and the and the cocktail of all sensations and emotions and thoughts and per perceptions and everything going on in your head and it's so much and it and it can be so hurtful that everything looks like it is very easy those voices that you start getting those voices in your head saying Of course, what do you think? You, I mean, you know who you are, you know what you're capable of, and, and what makes you think that you could that no, that you could get a good opportunity like this? You know, it's um, that is a very big part of the of of, of the moment. You know, uh, starting to uh, starting to attack yourself, starting to point fingers against yourself. You know, and and starting to to look at the things that you think. You did wrong. You, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have reacted like this. I should have said this or this way. But in the end, I think that one of the things that I, one of the most important things that I want to say is that you're gonna happen. You, you're gonna go through situations in life where you're gonna notice that it doesn't matter. Like I always say, though, it doesn't matter how hard you try. It doesn't matter how much effort you put on it. You can you can give it everything you got and you hope and you pray and you and you expect the best you know and and it's good to be positive but the the positivism it's it's something that you have to learn how to handle you you expecting something good but in the back of your mind you say but I'm prepared for the worst as well you know I'm I'm expecting that things are going to turn out but if they don't I don't want I I don't want to be caught off guard so you want to have it in back in your mind that situation you know it's it's important to think even before even before i knew the result of this i was thinking if thing if things don't turn out the way you want you have to know that you did everything that you could and that doesn't mean you know the fact that didn't turn out the way you want it doesn't mean that you're that you're worthless you know that you're a total failure you know that You're always going to be rejected, you know. Sometimes it's inevitable that there is always like a dark uh, entity hiding in the corners, you know, just waiting for your, for you to get into those difficult situations, in, into those, um, you know, uh, dark spots in life. And when you're vulnerable and when you're hurt, it jumps at you and starts that's that's when you that's when we start telling ourselves you're worthless you 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 always you will you always been and will always be a failure you will you 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 got nothing how what makes you think that you can actually aspire and dream of doing doing better you know when you know that you will never achieve something like that you know and so that dark cloud is always just lurking in the shadows and just waiting for the moments when we have this vulnerable times you know situations and events that happen and it jumps and it just start going after you it's very important to know that that's going to happen if we know if we don't know how to control it and and when you know that it, that when you put yourself on both sides you see both sides of the coin if things turn out well and things might not turn out well for this thing that i want but you have to think about that be before you know the result and you have to think i am going i i am going i'm going to be hurt if the things don't turn out the way that i want but i'm not going to i'm not i'm not going to accept the things that i might tell myself because the truth is that we only need sometimes we only need 24 hours and the next day things they still hurt but you will notice that they're they're nowhere near as tragic and 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 as universally 
you know, catastrophic as they seem the moment when it just happened like raw in the moment. So you need, you just, you have to, you have to give time for these things to heal. Many, many times, this is the, one of the ones that they need time to heal. Nothing, no matter what people tell you, no matter who you talk to, no matter what you read, no matter which song you listen to or whatever, sometimes it's just time that heals. And, 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 just, and just, you know, let it pass, leave, it, leave through it, and, and then let it go. Don't, I, like, like I always tell my students, you're going to see those thoughts, they're, they're coming towards you, and it's good that you see them coming, but you don't follow them. You see, and hey, look, look at that, okay, look at that. You're an idiot, you're a, you're a failure, you know, but you don't follow it, you don't linger, you don't believe it, you don't trust it, you don't let it be, uh, become you or a part of the person that you are. You just say, okay, you know what, just, you just keep on pushing, you know, and, and that's why I emphasize, and, I, and, and this is something that I emphasize with everybody that I teach is, uh, life, is not a, is, life is not a game that has an end. Life is not a game like a, like a football game that you have four quarters, you know, and you're gonna get to a point where the time is over and the game is over. Life is an infinite game. It's always extending and the next day and the next day and then it comes another week and then a month and a year. So you have, you, you, you play to outlast the, uh, um, the rejection and the failure and the pain. You don't, you don't play to beat it because one day you're gonna beat it with, with situations that turn out your way and, 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 and things that, and, and, and one day things are gonna be fine for you and then the next day they're not. So the idea is that I don't, I'm not really trying to beat anybody or anything. I'm just trying to outlast. I'm trying to become a better person today and tomorrow. If it's only 1% today and it's only 1% tomorrow, I'll do it. But I wanna be able, I, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to beat this guy or this event and in two weeks be the one, you know, standing, being, standing there victorious, you know, and triumphant, you know. I'm, I wanna be the guy that is gonna be standing in a fighting position in two weeks and in two months and in two years and in 10 years down the road. And the only way to do that is just pushing forward, even if it's one, just 1%, you know, at a time every single day. So whenever, so whenever you feel these kind of situations, leave it through, let it hurt you, let it rip your heart, you know, and talk about it. If you need to cry, you need to, 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 to kick, to punch, whatever, just don't, don't, don't punch anybody, you know, hit a punching back or something, but you have to live through that pain because it's, it's this kind of pain, it's this kind of moments that make you stronger. You're going to look back in the, in, 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 in the future and you're going to say, I was able to handle this. I can handle what's coming next. So just wanted to give you, just wanted to share this from this moment with you guys, okay? I hope you like it. Give me a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.